These are just crosstalks, and I'll meet you outside. Okay, see you. See ya. Bye. Bye bye. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Hey, spider. Keep bending over like that, it's a nice view. Bye. Bye. I'm going. I'm going. Hey, sweater. Keep bending over like that. It's a nice view. Bye. This is Edward Alexander Crowley, also known as Aleister Crowley. He styled himself the wickedest man in the world. He believed himself to be the great beast. And he changed his name to Aleister Crowley so he, it would add up in both English, Hebrew, and Greek Kabbalah as 666. And he began doing rituals to bring forth this crowned and conquering child. And he began to start what he called the cult of the fascinating child. And in doing this, he uncovered, without knowing it, the royal secret of masonry. And what happened was, a gentleman came knocking at his door after he published a book. And in this book, he, it was a book of poetry, and in the book he had made an allusion to something. And this guy, named, his name was Theodore Royce. He was a German occultist and the head of the OTO, the Ordo Templi Orientis which stands for the Order of Eastern Templars. There's the Knights Templar again. And this Theodore Royce told Crowley that he had given away the greatest secret in occult history. And Crowley said, what do you mean? I don't even understand it. So the guy promptly initiated him on the spot to the ninth degree of the OTO and then explained the secret to him. And you're about to learn what this secret is. The secret is that as a Mason, you are promised immortality. Where do they get their promise of immortality? Simply, the secret that Crowley uncovered, probably through demonic intervention, is the secret that this immortality is conveyed through tantric sex magic. You know, I have to say, I, I went into your office once. Do you remember this? <laughs> yeah. Snooping, and you had a huge bag of sex toys in you. Do you remember this? Oh, wait and a minute. Yes, you did. Wait a in minute. Your, in your closet. Wait now, a minute. You did. Okay, can we you explain what big... happened? Because okay. you were there. We had a guest on the show who uh, was a, what was she, a sex therapist. And so when she that. left, I think you did the segment, I didn't, actually. I didn't. And when she left, she gave each of us a shopping bag of stuff. I didn't get a bag of True stuff. True story. I didn't know what to do. I put it in my closet in my dressing room. The next day, we had Laura Bush on the show. No. And <laughs> the Secret Service came with the dogs to sweep our dressing room. And I watched. I said, no, I'll get out. Go ahead. He goes, you can stay. We just need to bring the dog in. They open up the thing, and I see the guy pick up the bag. And I'm like, oh, my God. Hello, I'm Ellen DeGeneres. And I'm Matt Lauer. I've won eight Emmys, and, and one time I kissed Al Roker. We're sorry we can't be there tonight. I've got to be here in New York. Uh, Matt, first of all, there's no need to brag about how many Emmys you won. Secondly, thank you for agreeing to do this with me. And again, I promise I won't be doing anything to alter or edit your part at all. Here's what we're doing. In the spirit of the daytime Emmys, Ellen and I are here to announce that we are officially ending our prank war. Please, this is a dignified celebration. This is the best of daytime. Oh, my God, pull it together. I hear you're nominated tonight. Well, I, I hear you know your way around a drain snake. That is disgusting. That's right. Just, okay. <laughs> All right, so he had no idea that he was making that offer, and I didn't really know if anybody would remember to thank him, but a few people did. Hello, and welcome to the 42nd Daytime Emmy Awards. By the way, Matt Lauer, how generous of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer. Is that worth $3,000? Thank you, Matt Lauer. I thank you, Matt Lauer, very much indeed. Thank you, Matt Lauer. For Matt Lauer, I want to say thank you. I'd like to thank Matt Lauer's mother and father for having him. Matt Lauer, 
Muchas gracias. And thank you, Matt Lauer. Uh, Matt Lauer, thank you. Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer, Matt Lauer. Thank you, Matt Lauer. Yeah, thank you so much. Very sincerely, thank Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer! Thank you, Matt Lauer! Thank you all. Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer. Thank Matt Lauer. Thank you, Matt Lauer. And we also thank Matt Lauer. Thank you, Matt Lauer. Matt Lauer, you are absolutely incredible. You are fabulous. Thank you for all you do. It's pretty well documented by now that every other year or so on Halloween, the producers of this show convinced me to dress up as a woman. Producers of this show convinced me to dress up as a woman. And good morning, everybody. Welcome to Today. And Hoda's here with me at this morning because this is a sad morning here at Today and at NBC News. Just moments ago, NBC News Chairman Andy Lack sent the following note to our organization. Dear colleagues, on Monday night, we received a detailed complaint from a colleague about inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace by Matt Lauer. It represented, after serious review, a clear violation of our company's standards. As a result, we have decided to terminate his employment. While it is the first complaint about his behavior in the over 20 years he has been at NBC News, we were also presented with reason to believe this may not have been an isolated incident. Our highest priority is to create a workplace environment where everyone feels safe and protected, and to ensure that any actions that run counter to our core values are met with consequences, no matter who the offender. 